Hello everyone, good day mates, how you going? It's Delicracy here from good old Down Under Australia. And welcome to a brand new video. I don't know what that intro was, but yeah. Welcome to another BitLife video. I'm very excited because BitLife now has a pet update, which means I can get chow chows. I'm pumped for this. I might end up getting as many chow chows as I can because I kind of want to test the threshold and where the cutoff point is for pets. Without further ado, let's get into it. Get your kombucha, get a beverage and sit down relax enjoy let's start our bit life okie dokie do let's start a new life whitney i am going to change that last name to she's from the united states whitney gherkin i don't gherkin i don't know why but we're just gonna do that okay whitney i was born a female in dallas united states my birthday is may 8th and i am a taurus my father is brian gherkin a school administrator age 45. my mother tara is a receptionist aged 28. a little bit of an age gap there not too bad though not too bad we're really not very clever however we are so good looking i feel like we could maybe use Use our looks to our advantage i don't know we'll see how we go okay let's let's just skip ahead damn it we're already suffering from the flu well i don't want this life to end super quickly so let's go see the buffet <laughs> gherkins going to the buffet so we're treating our flu so that's exciting now at the ripe old age ripe young age of three years old i think it's only fair to what we can't get a pet yet can we actually do any like little kid studying I don't think so. It's just, there's there's no life when you're young. Yay, rabbit, your mother wants to buy you and your sisters a pet rabbit named Caleb. No, I don't want Caleb. What I want is a chow chow and I will only have a chow chow. I refuse to have any other pet other than a chow chow. So that's what I ask from you, mother. And let's do it. Let's scroll down, chow chow. Oh my gosh, Meg Pebbles and Tasty. I mean, Tasty Gherkin is just too good. So let's get Tasty. What? But mom, she won't let me get Tasty. Should I try again for Tasty? Stop asking. I hate you. I don't really, but like, really? That's so mean. Uh, I'm gonna study, study a little bit harder because clearly, you know, we're not the smartest or the sharpest tool in the shed. I don't think there's any extra options in here. So let's age up again. Oh my gosh, my dad just passed away at 55. That's devastating. He died after a fireworks mishap. Ugh. And we suddenly have like half a million dollars. Wow. I'm so sad though. I'm really, really sad. Maybe if I go to the movies, I will feel a little bit happier. Okay, we're a little bit happier from going to the movies. But what would really make me feel a lot happier is if we could, please, mom, please, can we get a chow chow? Now this will determine if my mom has a heart. Uh, let's get Kyrie the puppy because then I'll live for longer. Absolutely not. I am so annoyed at my mom. Like it's so mean of her. You and your mother got into an argument when discussing whether or not it's okay to pee while, pee while taking a shower. I don't like her very much. I called her a fatty. That's really mean. You're a fatty gherkin, mom. No, I, I mean, fat gherkin's great. Love, love that. Oh, anyway, do we have a sibling? We have a half sister. Maybe we could like compliment our sister, try and get along a little bit. Uh, oh, we have two half sisters. What? Mom called my half sister tasty. Interesting. Let's just compliment our other sister. Let's age up. Actually, you know what? Let's study harder. Oh gosh, we've got depression. All we're gonna do with our life is study, I've decided. I think because we are a little bit depressed, it would be nice to work on a little bit of meditation, gratefulness, you know, all of that good stuff. Um, our willpower has improved, which is really, really good. It's all up from here. Damn it, it just went down. Your half-sister Tasty confesses to you that a bully has been trying to turn her friends against her, probably making fun of her because her name's Tasty Gherkin. Let's report the bully. Her appreciation isn't very big. Do you reckon maybe we can look for someone to date? Maybe Jonathan will like us because we're really pretty. Yay, you're now going out with Jonathan. It's made us so much happier. That's really nice. Let's study harder. 
we're no longer suffering from depression. That's great. So maybe now that some time has gone by, maybe mom will let us get a chow chow because we've been asking for years and I know it's been hard for her since dad died, but please can we get tippy? Please mom, please mom. <gasps> oh my gosh, she let us get tippy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's spend some time with him. 16 years, it's time to take your driving test. Will you take it? Yes, we will, because we're gonna be independent. Oh gosh, what does this road sign mean? Ugh. Merging left lane, merging right lane, right lane ends. Done and done, we pass, yay! Age 17 years, I would love to study a little bit harder because the smarts are not strong at this point in time. I'd also like to get another chow chow because I just feel like chow chows are a really lovely thing to have in the world. So let's get avalanche. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, avalanche. Uh, how many chow chows can we get? Do you reckon we can get another one on the spot? I wonder, I do wonder how many chow chows can we get? Let's get Bella. <gasps> oh my gosh, the chow chows never end. Let's get another chow chow. Gosh, here. Oh, oh, what? I mean, we should spend a little bit of time with our chow chows before getting another one. All I want is a chow chow game now. I just want to have chow chows in my phone. <gasps> what? At age 17, we can have a baby with our boyfriend? Should we do it to see if it works? Oh, he doesn't want to have a baby with us? What? Are you crazy? How could you not want a baby with us at 17? Yay, we graduated from high school. Well, that's really exciting. We're not a very clever one, which concerns me a little bit. We did inherit all our money from our dad's, um, our dad passing away. So maybe we should shop for a first home. I feel like that would be a good investment for us and the chow chows. I mean, we don't, we can't pay off much of a mortgage. So maybe we're best buying outright. Oh my gosh, we have so much money. We could actually get something really nice. <gasps> An elegant art deco home. I feel like that's too much to start with though. Like we don't want a three bedroom house to begin with. What about a lovely time town home? There'd be a little garden for the chow chows. I don't know, I'm not really seeing anything here that I think is perfect for us. So I think what we'll do is we'll age up. Jonathan and I have been together for five years. He's studying English at university. My toilet broke and flood everything. Maybe now that we've taken a gap year and done absolutely nothing, maybe we should look at getting some education. Mm, maybe we should just look into jobs. I mean, we're still pretty good looking. What can we do if we're good looking, but not particularly clever? <gasps> Exotic dancer. You know what, just because we're not the most cleverest pickle in the pickle jar, in the gherkin jar, I feel like we should still go to uni. Like why not? Or we should still go to some kind of school. Let's go to medical school. Screw the haters. Let's do it. Let's apply. Oh, fine. We'll go to university. Oh, this doesn't cost anything. Let's just go to community college for a little while and then we can get into medical school afterwards, hopefully. Hopefully, and how are our little chow chows going? They're doing really, really well. So maybe it's time for another chow chow. Chow chow, little Sparky the chow chow. Okay, fine, we'll look at a house because we can't get more chow chows without a bigger house. So let's just get a really big house. Do you think our boyfriend's only with us because of the money we have? <gasps> I hope not. Spacious ranch style would allow us to have so much room, so much room for all of our chow chows. Let's buy it with cash. <laughs> now I would like to get all the chow chows in the world of bear life. Ziggy, I follow a chow chow on Instagram called uh, Ziggy actually. Should we get another chow chow? Of course we should get another chow chow. Let's get a little, little Coco. How many chow chows can we get? Let's get Rosie. Oh, what? There's no space. How many chow chows do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We don't even have that many chow chows. Let's age up. When is our boyfriend going to propose to us? Like seriously. Graduated! Uh, let's go to university and let's look into, I wanna get into medical school. So I don't, does that mean I do psychology? I don't know. Can, mom, can you pay? Are you serious? Apply for a scholarship? What? Ugh. Personal investment, we'll take out a loan. 
Oh my gosh, why do we have so much money still? Why didn't I just pay for that in full? Oh, mum's a regular at the nudist colony. Well, good on you. <gasps> oh my gosh, Jonathan just proposed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, he actually made a fair bit of cash too. <gasps> We've been together for 10 years. He's our high school sweetheart. Oh! yeah let's do this oh this is so cute we've got married quite young but i feel like it's really really nice and we've graduated from school so that's really exciting let's see if we can get a nice medical job oh it doesn't look like we can get any medical jobs i feel like we're probably going to need to get higher qualifications so let's see if we can go to medical school now i mean what else would we have to do to go to medical school what it was rejected but we've done so much stuff studying this is not fair fine we'll go to dental school instead what i don't understand why no one will help me i literally can't get into anything is this a legally blonde moment we'll go to law school oh my gosh i don't understand can't even go to nursing school that can we be a vet what fine we'll just have to go straight into getting a job i mean i don't know what i want to be can we just get the highest job Time for my backup plan. Let's just try all of them until we get like the highest paying job. Okay, this isn't looking too good. <sighs> Chiropractor. <laughs> oh my gosh, why can't we? A marriage counselor, we did study, we studied psychology. I don't understand, why doesn't anyone want us? Fine, we're gonna have to be exotic dancer. Okay, we're an exotic dancer. I mean, we studied for a long time. And now we're really, really sad. So maybe we should get married to try and make ourselves feel better. Oh my gosh, our relationships with our chow chows are going terribly. Quickly, spend some quality time with the chow chows. Okay, I've got all of my relationships up with my chow chows. So they're all in the green, which is good. I might spend a little bit more time with Tippy because Tippy's the eldest. There we go. Our smarts have also gone up a little bit, which is this is good news this is really good news and we probably could actually sell our existing home and get an even bigger home because apparently it's not big enough for any more chow chows which we can't so that sucks maybe let's uh just shop for a whole new house all together now that we're working in a very fantastic position so hopefully yeah mid-century home contemporary home let's do it buy it with cash okay we'll do it <laughs> we have twenty six thousand dollars oh gosh um our looks are at 70 percent you know maybe we should go to the gym or something if we're working as an exotic dancer you know our body is our biggest investment at this point. Oh, Jonathan has been promoted to an architect. That is awesome. I'm living with five chow chows and I am engaged and I'm gonna get a, uh, a raise. Nope, okay, I'm not gonna get a raise. I'm just gonna dance harder. Uh, let's say a job, 27 years. I did get a little raise and oh, my little chow chow Bella's tail's been oddly tucked for a little while, it's fine. Uh, but what I would love to do is probably maybe get another chow chow, seeming that's all that's got going on in my life. Damn it, we can't get any more chow chows. Oh my gosh, Avalanche died. Avalanche died, I'm so sad. She passed from old age as her years finally caught up with her. I mean, 11's, I guess they live for 10 to 15 years, so 11's not too bad, but it's a bit sad. Oh my gosh, I can't deal with two of them dying. <gasps> This game is horrible. Oh, poor Coco. Oh gosh, I'm so unhappy. I'm so, so unhappy. <laughs> I need more chow chows. I need to fill the void in my heart with Stella the puppy. Uh-oh, your fiance Jonathan is arguing you because he does not approve of your new chow chow, Stella. Argue back? Like, shut up. I love my chow chows. Let me be happy. I am working my butt off at the club. If I want a chow chow, if I buy the chow chow, it's my chow, Jonathan. How dare you? How dare you running off to the office every day, not even look out, looking after our chow chows? Why, why do you care? I care, I'm getting really into this. Oh my God, Tippy just died as well. <gasps> I reckon Jonathan's killing them because he doesn't like them. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're all dying. I don't know if I can get any more chow chows. Oh my gosh, we have no money. You know what? I'm gonna resign. No, I'm gonna browse other job listings because this is just not paying my bills. I don't understand. Like I have so much education. Why can't I be a school psychologist? 
Is it because I'm a dancer? Does that offend you in some way, shape or form? Because honestly, I think it's so rude. Can we be a marriage counselor? I don't understand, we can't get any, why does no one like us? We look amazing. We're super healthy. We're not very smart, but you, oh my gosh. Oh my God, I'm pregnant. Oh gosh, I wasn't ready for this. I'm really not feeling good about this. This is this is all at the wrong time. All I wanna do is just be with my chow chow. We're pregnant and we're gonna have a baby. Tiana. Okay, we had a baby. Are we still an exotic dancer? Maybe we should look at some other jobs. Let's just be a receptionist. We can work our way up from there. That's fine. It's fine. We are no longer suffering from depression. Oh, wow, we're feeling so good. Oh, your fiance, Jonathan, is demanding we get married. Jonathan's kind of like, he's kind of rude sometimes. You've been engaged for nine years. Why doesn't he just be nice about it? Fine, we'll plan the wedding in Peru. It's gonna be great. Oh, you don't have enough money. Why can't he pay for it? If he's demanding to get married, why don't you just pay for it? I don't understand why I'm the one who has to do everything. Let's just have no honeymoon. Let's just get it done at the courthouse. It'll cost us $47. We don't have enough money to get married. Oh, it's okay. We can sell our house. Well, let's get married. Or we could get married. I don't know what that was. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. Woohoo! Oh, you're thinking about whether you should make your fiance sign a prenuptial agreement. Oh yeah. I mean, although he's got a lot of money. So is it a case of who just lives longer than the other person? I reckon we don't need a prenup because then I'll get more money if he dies. Let's not have a prenup. Oh, we went to Sweden for our honeymoon. Change to Ms. Gherkin Egbert. Love that. We're at age 34. I feel like we could have another baby. Like, I feel like financially we're doing okay. We're at Preggers. Love that. We just had our daughter Amber. She's a lovely girl. Oh, we're pregnant again. <laughs> oh, Stella died. Oh, Stella. Uh, let's do a different name. Marcos, love that. Oh, we're so happy. We have such a nice family. Oh, I love this. I really dislike my sisters. I mean, I think we could get some chow chows. Jonathan's probably like, not another chow chow. Well, oh my gosh, what is, he hates the fact that we love chow chows. What kind of man dislikes what we love. Let's argue back. And you know what? Because you have been so rude to us, we're gonna go get another one. What are you gonna do? You're gonna walk out of this family? I don't think so. So guess what? I'm adopting Chloe. Oh my gosh, he's so angry. Let's argue back to him again. He just doesn't learn, does he? I just wanna get one more chow chow. <gasps> Jonathan gets so angry at us. I just wanna see how many we can get. Trixie. Oh, see that? He didn't get angry at us that time, did he? He's like, okay, fine, I know my place. Nobody gets in the way of me and my chow chows, not even my hub's husband. Let's get Cameron, are we allowed Cameron? Oh my gosh, how many chow chows do we have now? This is like the chow chow challenge. Okay, we have no more space for pets, but we have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've had eleven chow chows our whole life. That is so exciting. Do you reckon we can get a race? Oh, I just feel like we should be getting a lot more money. <gasps> Jonathan wants to divorce me literally because he couldn't handle the chow chows. Oh no, he tells you it's because you eat cereal with water. Really, really, Jonathan. Damn it, I should have got a prenup. Ugh, um, insult him one last time, beg him to stay. I mean, he's a high school sweetheart. It's really sad if he leaves. Are you sure? Are you sure you wanna leave us? No. You know what, Jonathan? I'm gonna be the bigger person. I wish you well. I owe $84,000? Oh my gosh. I can't believe he took all of our money. Oh, at 45 years old. We meet Manuel, very nice. Not a whole lot of money, but he's a nice man. And we we need a we need someone in our life. Wait, we never even said we were into guys. Why are we 
Why are we even dating guys? I don't want to date more guys. Oh, Chloe died. Of starvation. Oh, Bailey died. Oh, Trixie died. Cameron died. And I'm depressed because all my chow chows died. Oh my gosh, Sarah died. And we have a cold. Uh, I really don't like Manuel that much. Goodbye. I don't really care about you. I feel like we really need to get money and we need to get money fast. So I'm going to do the good old dating app option. Go for an older man with a lot of money. Oh my gosh, we don't have enough money to even use the dating app. This is a low point in our life. Oh, we're going to have to get rid of our assets. Uh, sell the house. Fine. Oh, we actually got a lot of money for that. Maybe we don't have to date an older man to get money. Who would have thought? I mean, let's just get a cute mid-century home. We'll buy it in cash. I also want to get more chow chows. We'll get Lulu, Dinky, and Jeanette. Oh my gosh. We literally just bought all of the chow chows in the game. There's none left. Let's find a date. Good old Ross. He's a trucker. He seems like a nice man. And we're no longer suffering from depression. It looks like our trucker man has made us really, really happy. And I'm glad about that. You know what? We've never bought a car. I feel like we should have a car. Ooh, Audi A5. Let's buy it. Oh my gosh. My chow chow Jeanette attacked my son Marco. She cut his cheek. She grappled his anus. She mangled his face. She chomped his eyelid. Oh God. Oh no. Bad. Bad Jeanette. Bad. Let's just spend some time with Jeanette. Poor little chow chow. Redolin. What is that? I don't even know what that is, but okay. Oh, isn't that nice? Russ has decided um, to marry me. I'll accept his proposal. Oh, it's love. You have been fired from your position as receptionist. Why? Well, I'm going to insult my supervisor because why would they do that? Because I'm 60? Oh my gosh, that's so mean. We never got to be what we had hoped we would be. <sighs> I mean, we could just go back to uni. Oh, Dinky died. Oh, and my mum died. We'll skip the funeral. Oh, Lulu died. Ah, oh, Jeanette died. Oh, we have depression. Oh, my life is over. Okay, Ross wants to get married. Let's plan our wedding. Restaurant? Nah, I don't want to get married in a restaurant. Let's do a winery. Are there even wineries in San Francisco? I don't know. Oh, his net worth is... $908,000, not bad. Uh, well, let's make him sign a prenup because we know what happened last time. It, it was not good. Oh my gosh, Ross passed away like literally just after we got married. Yikes. No, we got so much money though, so that's good. Oh, and I just realized our looks really went down the drain. I mean, we could get a really nice home if we sell this home. Let's see if we can sell our house. Oh, we can't shame oh tasty passed away that's sad i always had a soft spot for tasty can we sell our house now oh, no luck why does no one want our house oh we've got depression you know what i'm thinking maybe we should get a little bit of a nip and tuck you know we're not feeling great about ourselves. we may as well get a brazilian butt lift we have the money how do you like me now <laughs> look our looks are now at 15 percent that's really exciting uh what else should we get a facelift look our looks are at 23 percent why not get a tummy tuck as well dr preston's really quite good she's not even that good though i need more I want more tummy tuck. Let's try Jason and see if he's a better doctor. Oh my gosh, his results are really good. Well, let's jump back on that dating scene. OJ Zhang, age 62, very good looking. Beautiful. We are no longer suffering from depression. You know what I've realized? Every time we date someone, we are so happy. And then all of a sudden, when we don't date someone, we're so sad. Like we rely so much on on our relationship status to give us happiness, which is really, really bad. Oh, I've been feeling self-conscious. I might go get some Botox. Well, by all means, let's go get some for you from Jason. Dr. Cox is the worst. Oh, we died. We died. Whitney Gherkin died at 77 years old. We died after suffering a stroke. Now, I probably should have paid more attention to our health. But you know what? We had a beautiful life. We had a lot of chow chows. It was beautiful. We had like 15 chow chows. We literally ran out of chow chows in the game because we bought them all. And we had a few relationships, you know? We ended up with a fair bit of money for not ever having a really amazing job. 
and that's great. Three children, five grandchildren, four lovers, uh, happiness through the roof, karma, not so bad. Wait, is that bad? I don't know. Winnie Gherkin passed away peacefully at the age of 77. Her services were attended by her boyfriend, OJ, her three loving children, Tiana, Amber, and Marcos, and her five grandchildren. Her half-sister Ramona and her niece Amaya went to ride bumper cars instead. Wow. A beautiful woman. That's right. She studied psychology in college and uh, we failed to get any work because we were too stupid, I assume. We worked as a, well, sorry. We did work as a receptionist, which is a very good job, but we didn't get into what we wanted to, which was very sad. Friends recount the time they saw her take Ritalin. I don't know what Ritalin is. Oops, wrong keypad. Oh, it's used for ADHD. No, oh, okay. All right, you guys, well, thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know if you would like us to play more BitLife and if you have any BitLife challenges or BitLife Sims crossovers, I would love to hear your ideas. And by all means, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and would like to see more. And comment down below if you've been playing BitLife as well. Hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon. So-so!